Uh, this is a bifinitely compound leaf. I found it. Would you please explain its characteristics? Well, the wide open space surrounding the college makes it possible to impart knowledge with a practical touch. Subjects like botany can now be brought alive for even the most disinterested student. For who can resist the charm of Mother Nature? The main objective of public school education is to mold the citizens of tomorrow, helping them blossom into strong individuals. Making students aware of the social pressures that mushroom around them is one way of achieving this. Students spread the message of hygiene, cleanliness and environment awareness in the villages surrounding the college to specially set up seva committees. Awakening social awareness among the villagers has won their willingness to participate in community development projects. sublime. Evening prayers are a means to improve concentration and focus attention on the Almighty. After that, it is back to books. The boarding students prepare for the next day's classes under the guidance of the housemaster. This makes for perfection, which leads to success in the examination. For a student to the Rajkumar College, the examination is yet another game which is to be played with hard work and sincerity and to be won. The college is affiliated to the Council for Indian School Certificate Examination in New Delhi. The Rajkumar College today occupies several buildings spread over 150 acres of prime real estate in Raipur in Madhya Pradesh, which lies on the main branch of the Central Railway, accessible from all important cities of India. In many ways, I have now spread my wings and launched myself into the future with new initiative and enthusiasm. As the scope of the college has widened, so has the range of its syllabus. Today, the emphasis is not merely on classroom studies, but on inculcating a wide range of skills and expertise. Mere theoretical preparation for an examination has given way to practical preparation for life itself. Under the watchful eye of the instructor, the students can now imbibe the basics for a career in the defense services. The overall policy of running the college is decided upon by a general council of life members most of whom belong to erstwhile ruling families of Madhya Pradesh, Orissa and Bihar. However, the day-to-day -day student affairs are actually managed by the prefects in consultation with the housemasters. with minor ailments are looked after by student prefects who refer the case to a doctor if necessary. 
For more serious illnesses, however, there is a hospital on the premises. This is not to say that the teachers have abdicated their responsibility. Freed from the burden of tedious day-to-day -day routine, they can now concentrate on more important matters, like selecting the right books for the library, so as to open up the wonderful world of ideas for their wards. of boys and girls have passed through these portals to live a life of happiness and fulfillment. Many hundreds of them have achieved positions of eminence in the society they have lived in and served. Many others from among the present batch will go on to do the same. Yet, for me, nothing has changed. I stand immobile, unchanging and unchangeable. Exactly as I stood a hundred years ago a citadel of learning.